I understand, man. It's it's hard to. There, there's a lot of moving pieces, especially you know, Collision's doing a lot of stuff. So, uh, but there's also For a lot sure. of people there. But in any case, uh, who we got? We got Kill a Kid, Johnny Law, and we got our first set of the day. Ubel, a uh, nice Toon Link Pokemon Trainer battle for us. Kind of a kind of staple. It's not only in like the the tri-state team. I mean, we see plenty of plenty of this before with uh, players like Wishes and Biddy and all the, the the million Pokemon trainers that are everywhere in the world. Yep. But uh, yeah, it's just you just kind of see these characters a lot. They're real popular, real easy to pick up, real easy to understand like what you're trying to do, but still with enough enough depth that you can like create your own play style out of those just naturally strong tools. Yeah, I think Pokemon Trainer is actually a very popular character, and surprisingly enough, like, I agree, I think Young Link is like, super accessible <laughs> as a character, like, between frame data and just spammable things that you can do, and that are kind of pseudo-safe if, if you're at, at a certain level, but you honestly don't see as much Young Link as you do Pokemon Trainer, and I think that there's just an appeal to Pokemon Trainer that... I mean, you know, you got you got got a heavy hitter. You got a little turtle. Like you got a little bit of variety. Like <laughs> shout us to little turtle. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> little turtle, squirtle. You know, <laughs> literally the tiny turtle. Oh, you missed it. But wraps up with that helps, man. Uh, I mean, it's like while young uh, while young Link kind of has a little bit of everything, and he just has like so many good buttons to hit. Um, Pokemon trainer. You can freely swap depending on the situation, which is really appealing to uh, certainly a lot of players because you never feel like you're unprepared. And that's a really terrible feeling to go into with a matchup where it's like, man, I just don't have the tools to deal with what's going on here. Like, that sucks. Yeah. 100%, <laughs> man. That's like being any kind of low tier main. Like, if you're a Belmont and you're playing against, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's just certain things oh, that yeah. you do, you're just like, I can't do anything about this. <laughs> yeah, I just have to, like. Pray I'm not going to a certain stage or hold the L and switch characters, which is certainly the way that things go for certain uh, for certain low and even mid tiers. But Pokemon Trainer, not one of them, though he'll have to deal with uh, <laughs> have to deal with Young Link's confirms, and that's probably one of Young Link's bigger strengths in a matchup like this. Um, all three Pokemon kind of suffer when it comes to getting uh, getting off of ledge. Oh, that was actually kind of hot. I like that regrab. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, all three of them can suffer when like trying to get out of uh, get out of sticky situations, get out of combos, get off ledge. Uh, if they can pull up shield, they have decent out of shield options. But it's it's the separation that they can struggle with, and Young Link keeps you keeps you at arm's distance really well. Yeah, that's like kind of what the character does, and the worst part is he box too. I mean, he's got yeah. that frame in and everything, and. Yeah, that's a good point about Pokemon Trainer too. Just like there's no shortage of, of things you have to deal with another character. So even when you are dealing with Young Link, who could honestly be a little bit oppressive in some sense. Like like if you're someone who hits a lot of buttons and you're playing against a Young Link who hits a lot of buttons, like you're going to lose that. You know what I mean? Like you have to yeah. sort of pay attention and really see what the Young Link is doing or like what they're trying to set up because the confirms okay. Sure. That wasn't our confirmed, but like, <laughs> <Yeah. y 'all laughs> <knows. laughs> it wasn't. But like, some of the stuff for Young Link, and this isn't to take any credit from, uh, you know, Kill a Kid or Young Link mains in general. Like, some of it is a little easy bake. I mean, down tilt goes in the stuff, up B goes in the yeah. stuff, and like, and it works, man. Like, there's no shortage of that stuff with this character, and, and it honestly makes him pretty good. But uh, that being said, Pokemon Trainer is able to deal with some of this stuff. I mean, you got three different Pokemon to try, so we'll see if Johnny Law is able to figure something out or not. Yeah, there's certainly no shortage of, like, potential counterplay. Like, for starters, uh, D-Ice would, uh, would help you out. Oh, bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a best of one, dude. It's okay. Imagine? <laughs> that would make... That would make brackets run a lot faster, but it would also, uh, in a yeah, game like this, where people just kind of die sometimes. <laughs> I just picture one of those brackets that come around with, like, a TO, it's like their first tournament, and they're like, all right, best of one, uh, $1,000 pop bonus, uh, single uh, Elin. Yeah, let's see what we got. <laughs> it's like, Dude, I've, I've kind of seen stuff similar, like, like no meme. It's crazy, it's some of the stuff that's out there, but not, not what we have today. There's actually... No prize here for today, so like, there's kind of no reason to join and then leave. Like, you, you just finish your set because you don't want to play. That's 
that's I think the the biggest draw of locals which is, or weeklies, which is why they're so popular even if they don't have uh, much like prize at the end. It's this it's the experience, it's the practice, it's the social experience. Like that's all what that's what it's there for. And hopefully people are making friends in Smash GG chat or not, whatever. I mean <laughs> I know a lot of them I know a lot of people are not making friends in Smash G chat, but I kinda <laughs> wish not. they would too. Um, the opportunity's there. I mean, you do, uh, in this particular case, like, we actually, there, there are a ton of regulars in DNA. Like, it does seem like, you know, you get to know people and you play against them a few different weeks at a time, so it, it's definitely not as crazy as it sounds, uh, despite the nature of man and, and people to just, like, rage. Yeah, and it's a competitive environment, so, like, I get it, right? It's, sure. it's like, oh, man, like, I... I'm really frustrated at this uh, loss that I took, or like, oh, it's, you know, what have you. But the the competitive, you can have a competitive spirit and still be a good person. <laughs> yeah, it's true, man. You got you got to learn a little bit of self control with that. that. That's like a whole conversation. Yeah, uh, there's like a whole like psychology of that. But okay, Johnny Law, look into pass. Oh man, that was a down smash. Or I'm sorry, down air. Excuse me, that just didn't come out. That looked like it was so prime. It was, but he was <laughs> That was like a meatball over center plate. It was just. It was a little bit awkward spacing, though. To be fair, like in any case, it does kind of clean it up with Charizard and has a Squirtle out for some reason. Uh, okay, there we go. That you just gotta be scared, like especially like a Nair from Young Ape would kill you, let alone an up smash. So clean things back up. Kill a kid. Gonna try and clean this thing up. Uh, two zero, but you know, okay. That switch uh, was exactly what he needed yeah. to get out of danger because an air dodge gets caught on, on the platform. Yelling just Yelling chases so well, but he chases with projectiles, which makes like trying to counter poke that much more frustrating. And Squirtle's a character that thrives off of counter poking since his pokes, all of his pokes start combos. Dude, that, yeah, they literally do. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of crazy how it works. Even even the arrows, like, the arrow, the flame arrows literally combo into each other, <clears throat> which is insane. Yeah. And, and then you could just die off of it. So it's like, you do have to look out for the pokes, exactly. Yeah, speaking of pokes, uh, he's swapping over to the to the Ivy Store, missing the, missing the up air. Okay. I, a smart tether back to ledge. He doesn't want to try and, right, like, Kill a kid going for an up B, like that's probably one of the least likely things he'll want to do in a matchup like this. Yeah, tethering from so far. I'm surprised at the range, actually. Yeah, it looked like uh, Johnny Law was actually thinking Kill a Kid was coming up above. I saw the up air come out. Um, got interrupted anyways, but has definitely cleaned up. Holy oh, crap. Wait. That, that was, was so unnecessary, but it was so good. <laughs> I guess because he had bomb in hand, he had to still confirm. Uh, he couldn't do a normal yeah. aerial. No, that was, I mean, that was good, man. I mean, those, those bombs are there for, okay, yeah. Neutral getup yeah, is going to get that. punished for sure. Yeah, he's really trying to swing at, <laughs> he's tr he's always trying to swing, like, exactly where Killikit is. Uh, Johnny Law, I mean, I, this is a really solid combo, but how many times are you going to try and force this combo, and Killikit will just wait you out? Yeah, I mean, I did end up getting, like, tying up the game with it, too. I, I gotta be honest with you, I was a little hesitant, too, seeing how the Squirtle's kind of been performing against the Young Link. But, Kill a Kid, or, I'm sorry, Johnny Law kind of making it work, and now in a position to maybe take the game three, depending on, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe a, a dare on the ledge, maybe take out Charizard, back air, you know? They're really chasing, and now it's... These Raider Leaves are huge to kind of force Kill Kid off his spot, oh, but... That was a really good option. Smart. Frame right. one. Frame one and vulnerable. You gotta love it. Yeah, the amount of times, right? The amount of times we've seen Beast do that. And it's funny, even in those multi-hitting moves, like, you'll see a, a Charizard kind of wrapped up in towards the top of the stage. And the amount of times you'll see Up B get him out of it. Uh, surprisingly not as many as, as you'd think, but like it, it seems to work reliably, so I don't know. Um, either way, it does buy Johnny Law Game 3. Yeah, I mean, you go from... like It's such a good DP, even though it's not like a traditional one, because the swaps... The, the switch itself is frame 1 and vulnerable, so you can make the taunt at the end. You can make them whiff, 
and then the Charizard's upbeat armor starts on frame four, I believe. So you go from like invulnerability to armor very quickly. <laughs> Dude, I need to know what, what's what's good with Johnny Law and why he leaves the, the arena every time. <laughs> I need I need to know That's what's okay. going on. <laughs> I want to I mean, know. At least this one is like just counter, uh, stay, presumably stage striking. Oh, wait a minute. Why no, is it yeah, well, here? I set an extra spot. <laughs> I'm glad I did because otherwise I would have had to kick your boy out. Because actually, uh, your boy JT's up next against Jay Grunt, who is out today, oh. man. Last time Jay Grunt was out here, actually, uh, what, he got third or something like that? Jay Grunt's he actually pretty solid. He got second last night at Xeno. So it's oh, on good. a little bit of a run. That's cool, yeah. man. I'm glad he showed up then. About that time, I know college classes are starting. Well, have been uh, the semester's been rounding up, so now it's that time to get your get your groove back on. Yeah, dude. Uh, indulge a little bit more, as if you haven't already <laughs> been, in, in uh, all of the Smash Brothers available to you, whether it be online, offline, whatever you're doing, whatever blows your hair back. Uh, it's gonna be online for us today, anyways. That's all right. I mean, it's. It's a different game, but it's not so different that you can't like you can't figure stuff out on it. Like your Dude, habits are still gonna get punished me, even if I was thinking about this okay. earlier, with with Maybe. like with that in mind. Like you you always think about like a lot of people are like, Oh well, you know, offline is back, like why do I need online, blah 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 like which is it's totally a thought process, not only I understand I could be like, Okay, yeah, sure. But then I just think about even the case of like I don't know, like think about like Nairo, right? Like peak Nairo literally was playing online like every day and then would go to a major offline and still play like incredibly well like i agree that it's a different game and it's whatever but i do think that there's a capacity to like kind of just be able to do both yeah there's anyway. always there's always <laughs> something to learn like there's there are certain characters that you and are that make it very hard to learn in an online environment characters like fox for instance like they True. get so much off of like a reactionary advantage back though yeah that's not gonna kill yeah but smo a lot of characters, like, their attacks are just so good that you're doing them anyway, whether it's an online or offline environment. So, why, like, <laughs> at least try to apply and that knowledge, even if all you have to practice is online. Yeah, there's there's something to be had, but... Um, yeah. does look but like of course, offline practice is still, like, more ideal. Yeah, well, the whole reaction time thing is, yeah. is a pretty big point you made. Um... Speaking of which, uh, this game is pretty much even, man. I, I'm actually not sure. Uh, this is Kill a Kid kind of running off to the lead again, but we saw what happened last time. I actually appreciate that Johnny Law's keeping the score out despite the 83% because he could die, but he was finding some pretty good, pretty good damage in that last game. But, yeah, wisely switching out now. It's, it's such a dilemma when you're at a deficit as Pokemon Trainer, where some of your more ideal combos uh, come from uh, come from either Charizard or Squirtle. So, do you keep the Squirtle out at high percent and take and run the risk, or do you throw a Charizard who's, yeah, a lot heavier, but also a lot bigger? And Ivysaur kind of just falls in between, where they're a little bit too light to survive, especially at 166, but too slow to really push advantage, so you end up just throwing Razor Leaf a ton. But hey, Kill Kid's looking like he's starting to get a little bit impatient and kind of and has eaten 82 while still trying to find this kill. Yeah, I'm man, through. he was pretty fresh at a point when. Oh yeah, he is. No, dude, that's the thing is like that up throw is strong. Okay. One more for the people. Yeah, dude, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I totally was asking for that, but like I, I appreciate, I appreciate that. Um, honestly, I'm surprised he didn't just keep out Charizard and just spam back air or something, or maybe maybe a couple more flare blitzes. I mean that's the that's the evolution from the the normal Charizard to the Beast Charizard is that he can spam things safely and back is pretty safe. Down there, all right. Not getting quite, uh, not quite finding the two frame that he's looking for. Just, just holding steady. I mean this is kind of where Young Link makes his money. Though the switch was perfectly timed. Uh, kind of overzealous oh. on. Oh, yeah, that's a hard punish. Yeah, dude. I mean. Kind of, I feel like, uh, you know, we it looked like Kill a Kid was the impatient one, but now just, yeah, that's going to be it, man. It, it's, no? All right, Charles, it's a big boy. Yeah, he's pretty big. It's, 
Like, I, I understand the where you get so impatient, because, like, oh, man, they're at 149 oh. now. Okay, yeah, you're just holding the L. Yeah, sure. I mean, Respectable. I, I, I get it. You go out on your own terms. That's cool. All right, man. Well, hey, that's uh, that's uh, <laughs> first set of the day. Going to kill a kid. Nice it's still 2-1. still 2-1. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah. game three. Well, you know, what more could you want? Honestly, I think that game would have been a lot closer if... Uh, I mean, as much as I appreciated those flare blitzes, it probably would have been a lot closer if that didn't happen, <laughs> basically. Yeah, just, just, reel, just reel it in just, just a little bit. Yeah, you know. Cause, I mean, you can... You already had Kill a Kid in such a strong spot despite the deficit, is because he was impatient and you were holding a solid third of the stage thanks to just the threat of Razor Leafs, but... You looked at your percent, you're at 180, it's like, well, I guess it's time to throw Hail Marys when you didn't need to do that. Like, 180 is the same as 150 in a lot of ways, and Young Link already kind of struggles to f find that finishing blow if you watch out for a lot of his confirms. So, but which he has plenty, but all of them start with pretty far away projectiles, which you can react to. So. It's 50 50.